Okay, so our Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, so it just seems to me that maybe in the past you've been experiencing a little bit of self-loathing, maybe some self-doubt, um, just not quite yourself, only because when we introvert, when we kind of cocoon in our home or wherever it may be, um, we cut ourselves off to other humans and it, it brings a sense of doubt, I mean, quite frankly. Um, so in the past, it's something to do with trying to overcome some sort of insecurity situation, self-doubt. Um, currently, you're in a really good place um, as far as like growth. Um, you've come pretty far from that. So there's a lot of um, intuition and psychic growth happening. And from that, with the this Ace of Wands comes that success, that 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 reward of how that might feel. So you have a satisfaction of kind of getting into um, the spirit of things once you do get there. Um, this this future, this outcome is our Three of Swords. So Three of Swords is just, it seems to me you have some things coming up that you're gonna have to deal with. They're gonna be painful, maybe some heartbreak, maybe some loss. Um, it's not going to rain forever. It's not going to be cloudy forever, but you really need to get back into that hermit place almost. Um, almost like a queen of wands reversed really, because the queen of wands energy is when you kind of introvert and you're kind of doubting yourself, but um, minus the self doubt, you're going to need to take care of yourself. Um, but in order to get to this place, you're, I pulled another card. It fell out during and this is going to be a really good energy um, outcome from your future. I mean, once you get through that transition, that growth um, from kind of, you know, isolating and letting it rain on you, letting that pain happen, just sitting in it and dealing with it, um, this chariot just kind of flies in. So then you're going to create some energy where you just kind of like bustle off and you're determined, you're ready, you got things figured out. There's a sense of balance and power. Um, it's okay to be a superhero and a chariot, but it's also okay to be, you know, a hermit-like and to protect yourself when you're going through um, the bullshit. Uh, lots of ebbs and flows, so you're very much in a pattern. So this just seems to be much of a pattern that I do see in our Aries reading. There's a lot of self-doubt, there's a lot of transition and growth, and then you get back into that strength and that power. So it's beautiful. I think you should keep doing it. I think you're going to be fine. Currently, um, you're in that happy place. You're in that peace. But again, that, you know, that, that pain stuff's coming up. So, um, you know, I guess until then we'll see you soon.